I am in Seoul. Wow, wow, wow. This doesn't look as impressive as you think it would be. Um, so yeah, me and my friend are renting an apartment for, I think, three nights um, while we're in Seoul. And this is what we got. It was kind of one of the cheaper places to go to that's close to the convention center. Um, so the con is already going on. I haven't had a chance to check it out yet because I'm waiting around for the, um, for the host just in case, uh, just so I can give them the money and then they don't kick us out my friend isn't here yet because she is unfortunately stuck in her town so she will be coming up a little bit later so for now i'm just going to be um lazing around maybe check out the con center try to maybe find some english speaking cosplayers there should be some foreigners so that should be good to kind of like get the idea of what i should be expecting for tomorrow um whether i can change here or i should just change over at the con center uh which would probably be my preference um but we shall see so, so basically i'm wandering around Colex, which is like a korean mall it uh comic console um at the moment it looks a bit dead i'm <laughs> i'm a bit nervous but um do -do 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 -do. you can see the sign over there there's also signs everywhere but um yeah i'm basically just wandering around for now there's not that many cosplayers i only saw two um i'm going to try and find um some western cosplayers to kind of ask them if they cosplayed or they came here in costume or um, basically what they did just so I'm prepared for tomorrow but I'm still very I don't like vlogging everywhere so that's why I'm kind of hiding um, so far it's a little bit dead but so I don't regret not buying stuff for the uh, for the first day but basically I'm walking around until I get <laughs> kicked out of an area okay. So I'm on the third floor. It looks like the third floor is where everything else is, but the registration is on the first floor. Okay. Hey everybody, so I'm back in the room. What I've noticed at that um, for Comic Con, so at least it is quite small, um, which was a little bit expected. It was because it's the first year that Comic Con has come to Seoul. Um, it's more catered towards uh, Western audiences than it is towards Asian audiences. From what I could tell, it wasn't highly advertised from what I could see. Um, so that's another thing. And yeah, it's just really, it's, honestly, it's their first year. They didn't really have a lot of guests and stuff like that. So for Saturday, I'm going to see how busy it's really going to be. Um, I need to pick up my tickets from my friend because he bought the tickets for me um, but he's busy with work so I have to wait for him to be ready and um, I'm also waiting for my friend to arrive so because I'm still very much alone in this empty room so it's maybe a little bit weird why I'm not going out exploring Seoul uh, because I live in Korea I've actually been to Seoul quite a few times so I actually don't really have that many places I want to explore um, yeah, so I'm basically mostly just here for the convention. Um, I'm going to be picking up my friend at the bus station just because it's a little bit difficult to get here. I'm kind of debating what kind of food I want to eat. Do I want to eat fast food or do I want to eat something that's not so fast food? I don't really want to eat at a restaurant. Um, it's just not really appealing to me at the moment, especially because it's just um, me by myself. So I'm probably I'm most likely just going to probably go out to a cafe and grab something like really small to eat. Yeah, sorry if I just sound a little bit tired. Um, four hour bus ride to Seoul is not very really fun. Um, but yeah. Days one, uh, day two, yeah, day two. Day two, day one for day. us. 
and I'm really tired. It's now 5 o'clock p.m. Um, we left around 12. Walked around a bit. We actually met a photographer, so we did mini photo shoot. Um, my name's being a whore. <laughs> my friend's being a whore. Her first cosplay. Ba -da -ba. I'm overheating. There weren't a oh, lot of. Aircon. Oh, right, aircon. <laughs> there wasn't a lot to do in Z, rather, uh, but that's because it's our first year and um, so I wasn't expecting much. But uh, I'm, we're going to be changing out now because we're both dying from heat and exhaustion and probably going to go get something to eat. Maybe. I don't know what else we're going to do, but I'll be taking more video for tomorrow. Um, I guess the highlight of my day, other than. Um, seeing all the pretty cosplayers and stuff like that is that um, I got to see Sanzo and Son Goku's voice actors uh, for, from Sayuki and I guess they're doing or they're redoing or not redoing they're relaunching their series again um, similar to Card Captor Sakura as well um, they were having a lot of promotional stuff for that and I recorded a bit of that and posted it already on the page but yeah pretty much slow day i am not a really um after all these years going to conventions i'm not really a panel person but it didn't really seem like they had like different panel areas specifically from what i could tell um uh, but again i'll be written tomorrow so i can like be more mobile and kind of vote and uh, vlog a little bit more successfully selfie life It is day three, so the last day of Comic Con, and I'm just up as Ren. Um, so at the moment, I'm taking a break with my friend because we are both kind of like dying from the heat of the room. It's actually a lot hotter in there for some reason today because uh, I don't have a photo any of my photographer friends here. Unfortunately, I kind of did a mini photo shoot by myself using her selfie stick. Oh. So we'll see if I can edit the photos to look semi nice. Probably not. Um, but yeah, uh, what did what are your thoughts about Comic Con? Because it's kind of slowly coming to an end for at least the both of us. I love Comic Con. I just wish wigs and eye contacts didn't hurt so much, and that Acon was flowing freely. Um, so maybe I'm like the wrong person to give an opinion on it because I don't really go to panels anymore. I don't really go to see guests. I mostly, nowadays, because I've been going to cons for almost over 10 years now, actually, oh, my life. <laughs> I've, I think I've gone to the point where I don't, I kind of just mostly go to cosplay or meet new people. Um, I did meet some Korean cosplayers, but I didn't really, I, I wasn't able to exchange that much 
with them unfortunately because a lot of them spoke Korean and don't speak that much English and I barely speak any Korean a lot of the times I was basically going ah, 미안해, 저는 아, 한국말 자, 아, 한국말 다, 잘 못해요 which is basically roughly translates to I'm sorry, I don't speak very much Korean <laughs> Yeah, and I, I feel honestly really bad because I'm in Korea, but I, my lack of um, Korean communication skills is very, it's does make it difficult if I want to meet new people. Um, but there are a lot of Westerners here, so that's a good, nice thing and comforting thing. Um, so that kind of draws back to my opinions on Comic Con. Um, so Comic Con this year is very small. Um, because it's also their first year so they don't have that many guests they weren't really advertising it that much so i think there's a lot of potential for the convention but because it's their first year it's a little bit um depressing <laughs> about the size of it but at the same time the price wasn't that bad for two days it was only 40. um and they off they offered the thing is that they offered like um just the saturday sunday passes another thing to note is um because it's not uh, because it's more focused on Western culture, I think there's not as much interest as there would be if it was for an anime convention. Um, and because it's more Western oriented, we have a lot of a more uh, Western audience members. I do want to see if I can go with one of my uh, my friends who are Korean, can speak fluent Korean, um, and are willing to come with me to a con one day, but. Currently, my opinion on Comic Con so slight disappointment. I think mainly because if there was like exclusive items or anything that you can get at Comic Con, like you could add other com Comic Cons, there would be more of an appeal to me, especially from a business standpoint. Um, but there wasn't. Um, but overall, I did have fun. I did have an unexpected photo shoot the other day. Um, so that was interesting to meet uh, other foreigners. I do, I think there's still that little bit of uh, confusion because they see me that I'm Asian but they so they automatically think I'm Korean. Um, so that's why I've been saying that I can't speak Korean or if it, they, I can clearly understand that they are not Korean themselves, I just say like I can speak English to them. <laughs> so I have surprised a lot of different people because of that. Um, but yeah, like that being said, even though I don't feel that it was that amazing in my opinion, um, I might be again the wrong person to ask because I've been going to conventions for over 10 years now, but I don't really go to panels or go see guests anymore. Um, so this might be completely different from an opinion of someone who has been, who's, has gone to conventions for a very long time, does go to panels, and does um, see guests. So I'm the worst person to ask about convention quality. But for your perspective as someone who's new to convention scene, what was you said that you enjoyed it. What part of it did you enjoy? I enjoyed seeing people's creativity in dressing up, even though I thought there would be a lot more cosplay, but it was a lot of fun. Um, people's commitment to characters were hilarious, especially Deadpool and Spider-Man. Um, and yeah, I just liked seeing the new products. I really did enjoy the artist section where you can go and see how they did it, their different skills, what they've worked on. That's very nice. And the fact that you could actually support them by buying some of their stuff. You don't really have access to them directly as the public, which is mm -hmm. neat. Yeah, that's a really nice thing about Artist Alley. Um, Sorry, I'm just gonna sit closer because you're so far away. It's kind of like an interview. Hey, don't drop. Okay, so um, from my perspective, uh, from perspective of going to conventions, yeah. uh, Artist Alley is actually it's a really big thing, and that's what I actually really like about going to conventions as well. So you can see different artists, especially as an, uh, for both artists, students ourselves. Yeah. So we both can um, really respect that there's an open space for that. Um, to showcase their to showcase talent. Yeah. Their talent. Um, the one thing I kind of didn't like is that they are, it was a bit small, but this is, might be because they're more on the professional side of artists. I'm not sure yeah. if there was like, I know that most of them are, or most or all of them are indie artists, but I don't really think there are that many, like, who are more like guest artists. 
Okay, you know, like yeah, people who've really got like a rap sheet kind of have like industry. have like a little bit of a following or have done some professional work yeah. as opposed to fan artists who don't really necessarily have like a big name and stuff like that. And then in terms of uh, the panels, they didn't really think they had that many panels, honestly. Even from no, the, they didn't. the event was, page yeah. from what we could change in terms of the schedule. I assumed there would be a lot more, like things that you can go and watch, more interaction between you and like the teams that worked on and also it's condensed in my room but it's also like i expected it to be a lot larger i expected more game demos more of a team from different game companies that was just my personal expectation i mean there were some i think there were some demos no no they were but i was just expected like on a larger scale mm. yeah. you were like going to pax i think probably my but personal experience i'm a little i'm i'm on more of the leaning of i'm disappointed yeah. but it's their first year and there's hope yeah, I What's kind of feel like it gives them the opportunity to grow and I kind of feel like this was a learning curve for what they can and what people wanted to see. Yeah, this is the first time that Comic-Con, specifically the branch of Comic-Con, came to Seoul. Now, uh, for our registration the first day, I think it was only like half an hour, half an hour but like we still had to wait in line even though we bought tickets ahead of time. But it wasn't like, but they have a different way, like they didn't like pre-register the person to their name. What they did is they actually had the passes like wristbound if you bought the ticket and they just clipped it, which I personally felt was a little bit inefficient, but it kind of makes sense. I don't know how to feel about it personally. Um, thank you for coming with me to Comic Con. We're going to do one last run around um, and then we're going to be heading out probably. Well, again, we've opened to Seoul so many times, so we're not really exploring anymore. We're kind of just doing. Yeah, we're kind of just visiting. We pretty much came here for Comic Con. Mm. I mean, like, not doing I mean, like, I live in the middle of nowhere, so <laughs> <laughs> I come here for shopping too. <laughs> Are you prepared for Halloween for your children? Totally prepared. I might have slightly over purchased in cosplay. Yeah, items. but it's okay. It's your first year. Like, I over purchase all the time, and like, I have. <sighs> I just trying to think how much I have. I have a lot of it. I actually do have a lot of wigs at home, and like, I still mm -hmm. bought two new wigs. Like, you know the blonde wig that I wore yesterday? Yeah. That's the third time I bought that wig. See? Bad. Edit. Edit. No, it's edit. because, like, I didn't like the first one. I didn't like my second one. <laughs> my third one is a bit better. Hey, everybody. So the last part was kind of cut off, and it sounds really abrupt. So I was just wanted to do a small voiceover to uh, end the video. Um, overall, I really did have a great time at Comic-Con Soul, despite all my critiques of it but I'll cover that in a different vlog since this one is getting very long but until then uh, I hope you enjoyed my video despite all my rambling and I will see you next time okay bye